What time is it? Tawana time. T A W Y A N A. T A W Y A N A. Hey guys, I am back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my labels. So I know in the honey and turmeric video I showed, told you guys I would show you how I make my labels, so that's what I'm going to do. Before we jump into this video, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe down below and hit that bell button. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, so first I'm going to show you guys the website of the application that I use just in case you guys want to download it. You'll know exactly what to look for, like exactly what it looks like. It's this little dog looking wolf thingy with the paintbrush in his mouth um, if you wanted to download it. But because I have it on my computer already, I'm not going to download it. I'm actually just going to go to the application. So as I'm heading to the application, I want to let you guys know that you guys are going to see some extra clicking when I'm actually showing you guys how to make the labels and that's because of my screen recording for some reason the application doesn't like when I'm screen recording outside of screen recording you don't have to do all the extra clicks you're gonna see me do so I just wanted to let you guys know it's being weird about screen recording but this application is super easy to use um, the only learning curve I would say are these icons just trying to figure out what they all mean but let's get started so go to file then go to new um, when you click on new you have the option to set your size or there's templates like they have business card templates they have all different kind of toilet paper templates they have all different kind of templates that you can use but i um i like to set my own so i'm gonna set mines at 1100 for the height the uh, width and the height don't ask me why i chose that i just i don't know it was just easy to use easy simple i like easy and simple <laughs> so to get started i'm going to click on the um the text and i'm going to add in a title for my or a heading or whatever and i'm just going to add in the business name Janae's beauty bars at the top llc of course um add that in and then i'm going to change the color and the font so I know what kind of font I use for my labels and I'm just gonna type it in I actually downloaded this font um, if you guys are interested in learning how to download fonts to your computer I'm probably not the person to show you because it took me a long time <laughs> to figure it out myself but you know what I'm saying Google there's Google for that <laughs> so yeah here I'm just changing the font to um, the font color to black and there's that extra clicking I was talking about. You guys are going to see that extra clicking a lot. And that's just because of um, my sc me screen recording. This application does not like me screen recording. That's what I got to say about that. So um, now I'm going to align this. So I'm going to go to the alignment tool. And basically there's the left, the right, and then the middle alignment. So if I click on this, you'll see the little four squares appear around the object. And then if you click on the alignment tool, it should align it. Of course, I'm going to have to do some extra clicking. <laughs> but um, once I click on the middle alignment, as you see, I put it to the left and then I put it to the middle. I know it's centered to the center of the page. So next, um, I want to add in like a picture or whatever. So I could go to Google and I'm going to show you guys like if you want something with a transparent background, just make sure you put in PNG. And because this one, I want clouds on it. I'm going to search in clouds, go to blue. And I'm going to look for some clouds that I like, but it needs to look white before I click on it. So if you guys see, it has the checkered background on it now. Um, that means that it's transparent. So when before I clicked on it, the background was white and now it has the checkered background. Um, that means that it's transparent. I don't know how to explain it, but further than that, but like the other ones where they have the checkered background before you click on it those are not actually transparent but anyway I have my own picture I didn't download a picture from Google because I have a picture that I took myself and I'm gonna use that picture as my um, like aesthetic type picture on my label so I'm just gonna resize that and to resize that I used the scaling tool and just resize that and then get it to where I want it to be 
and I'm going to use the alignment tool to make sure this is perfectly centered. So I'm going to show you guys how the alignment tool really works. So I put it off a little bit so you can see. So click on it, got the little squares around it. And then there's that extra clicking, that irritating extra clicking, but boom, it's centered. And then I'm going to add in some more text. So now I'm going to add in the name of my, um, of the soap that I'm making the label for. So I can change the font and the font size and all of that. Right now I'm speeding it up a little bit because you guys see me do the, the font when I did the name of the business already. So don't want too many redundant things. So right now I'm just changing the font and the size and blah, blah, blah. And then I'm also going to go ahead and resize or like reposition these where I want them to be. So I'm not too much worried about like getting them exactly centered. I'll do that with the alignment tool, but I'm just trying to make sure I get them um, positioned where I want them to be. And then boom, everything is all nice and centered and I am done with the um, front label. I'm going to go ahead and export it and then change the name to crisp and clean as I export it. And when you hit export again, you guys will see when I hit export, it's going to pop up another little page. I have no idea what you do on that page. I just always hit export the second time on that next page and then it exports my picture and boom picture is exported i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's exported into a png file that's what it looks like nice and pretty now we're going to move on to the back so i'm going to go to file and go to new and it already has the width and the height set for me i'm just going to hit okay and now i have to put in on the back of my label, I put my ingredients. And so that's what I'm gonna start with first. I'm gonna go to my text and I'm gonna go copy my ingredients from my file, from my Word document. And this is my cold process soap, so CP cold process soap ingredients. I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm going to make a kind of a bigger box so that the ingredients fit in there. Then I just adjust it as needed. Now I'm going to change the font and the color, the font size, the color, all that good stuff. Okay, now that I have that fixed, I'm just gonna make sure that I align it, make it centered, because everything has to be centered in life. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm gonna add in the name of the soap and then artisan soap again. I'm just gonna copy and paste from the front page, the front label. So if I click in that, I'm going to Copy crisp and clean first. Here's that annoying extra clicking I gotta do. But <laughs> I'm gonna copy crisp and clean. And then I'm going to reposition these to where I want them to be. So as you see, I, I 
aligned them first which was kind of special of me to do I should have repositioned them where I wanted to be because then I had to go back and realign them to make them centered because I kind of moved them but anyway next I'm gonna add in um, Facebook and Instagram name and then I'm also gonna add in the net weight and I'm gonna add in my website and so you guys can see that process I'm gonna speed that up for you guys Now, when it comes to lining up the net weight and the Facebook, um, I just I just eyeball this honestly because um, okay, what I typically do is I copy and paste my I mean I copy my labels and I just like I make a copy of one label and then I just redo the um, like the name and the color and all of that. So I don't really change the Facebook, Instagram, net weight website ingredients none of that I don't change it so it's the same from one label to the next but I'm just showing you guys how to do it from scratch so I just typically eyeball my or like where I want stuff to sit at I know it, it, it probably would be better if I aligned it but who got time for that not me and it looks perfectly fine to me anyway so we're good <laughs> Um, so now that I have all of that done, I can go ahead and export this too because it looks nice and good. I'm just checking over it to make sure I like the placement of everything and I do. gonna go ahead and export it as crisp and clean make sure I put it as the back label um, I do this because I don't like to be confused when it comes to printing out my labels because it can get confusing if you're printing out a bunch of different labels and they have just crisp and clean on them or whatever um, I need to know the difference between the front and the back so now that is exported I'm gonna go ahead and open it up show you guys what it looks like make that big and boom that's what it looks like on nice and pretty and on nice and pretty and that is that guys like we did the thing we we made some labels <laughs> of course if you guys need further detail on you know what i'm saying i feel like i gave grave detail on how to do this but if you need further detail don't hesitate to reach out to me i love helping you guys make sure you stay tuned for part two of this video um showing you guys how i prep my labels to be printed out what i use what um, platform i use for that if you're not already make sure you subscribe down below make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on any other thing that you guys would like to see see you guys next video Bye.